Yo, what's up, people? It's what does that guy. guy not likes represent not nation? Apparently, we're doing little Uzi verse dread review, dread revisitation today. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is the best in the not nation content. Yeah, hit it from the back, watch a nigga bless you. Yeah, crying in my arms like a nigga wrecked you. Talking about a broken heart, running to the restroom. Yeah. Yo, it's funny because I was typing in Little Wayne to do a dread review on a dread revisitation on him, and Little Uzi Ver popped up. So I'm like, okay, let's go with Uzi Ver. You guys have been asking for a dread revisit on Uzi, and he does deserve one. His locks are in quite the state these days. Definitely very, very, very damaged. But also very interesting. Definitely unique. He's, in a sense, he's kind of got the Migos ombre dread look going on right now. With the orange and the purple and the blue and the turquoise and the green. He's got all the colors of the rainbow happening on his locks. Which inevitably turns your hair into a giant pile of... Um, just bleeding colors everywhere and essentially it doesn't really look that good because there's, there's so much color going on it looks like a swamp a swamp of dread colors all right whatever that could be the look he wants because um, he tends to wear a lot of psychedelic colors to begin with but uh, to get your hair like this you're gonna have to go through a lot of coloring a lot of dye a lot of chemicals going in your hair I find this shirt to be funny saying I'm not a rapper. Because that was like a, real, a slogan in Toronto years, like 10 years ago. I'm not a rapper. But no, his hair is actually quite uh, impressive in terms of the way he's got it to be colored. But I wouldn't suggest doing anything like this to your own hair. Because uh, it can leave you very despairing of your locks. Even in this photo here, it kind of looks like some of his locks are like missing, faded in a sense. I guess he's got the side taper happening quite well. Locks hanging down from the front. Pineapple tops always so popular. Uh, and here we can see that it's just green dyed on there and not with the uh, bleach as of yet as on the, on the roots. But a lot of people have been asking for a little Uzi Vers weird updates. <laughs> and uh... Yeah, the taper makes it look very, 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 like, I don't know, very strange. It's a very weird look. I could never embrace that look on myself. I don't know how people really do it themselves, but obviously his face tats getting pretty wild as well. Face tats in the rap game are something else these days. That's a whole video in itself right there. Um, but Uzi Vers dreads look like they're, they're retwisted every once in a while. They're very thin. And very cylindrical and usually drop down on his face he's not really one to keep him tied up too much but yeah you can definitely see his face tattoos have been re-inked uh here it is the rainbow look in effect we did see this once with little wayne um i think little uzi ver is actually pulling it off a lot better at this point this one dread on the left seems really really vibrant in turquoise colors which is quite impressive it's crazy to see how bright he got that dread to get Again, a really bright layer of base coat of bleach is, gonna, is what's going to be needed before you dye your hair. Crazy pinks and everything like this. So it will probably look good the first day you get it dyed, which is why I took the pictures right away. But eventually, once you start washing it, all the colors start to muddle together. And it doesn't really look um, as good anymore. He's got the PSP phone. But again, here with the rainbow locks, flinging them real wild. Hair is wavy but flawless. Uh, and again here, he's got the blue dreads happening. So he's he's quite the advocate for rocking dreads that are colored. He's quite the advocate on that at that sense. So um, as we've known him from before, you go on right even, even into the pink, to pink hair. It seems like he's just always got color happening in the locks definitely uh some locks to look into if you're looking for some colored dreads uh he's holding it down quite well with like these different color schemes and it's quite cool to see how he's getting them these colors so little uzi ver revisitation in the bag hopefully you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button down below it really helps more than you think and uh next time i'll see you tomorrow so stay tuned stay subscribed peace <laughs>